What does throwing a softball have to do with improving my forehand? We're going to find out right now. Spin it. Hey DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. And uh, before we get started, got my uh, Lone Star drip. Uh, thanks Lone Star for allowing me to represent uh, the brand for another year on the Lieutenant team. And then thank you to the Power Disc Golf Academy, Paul Yulaberry and David Bibiano for putting their trust in me. I don't know if you've seen in my Facebook and my Instagram, and I think I put it as a, a community post in YouTube. Uh, I'm going to be sponsored for the 2024 season by the Power Disc Golf Academy as a part of the 2024 Power Team. So I'm stoked about that, ready to ready to rock and roll. So thank you to Paul and David for their trust in me. Uh, thank you to you for all your support. We're only 18 people away, 18 subscribers away from a thousand. So uh, super stoked about that. But here's here's a stat that 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 bothered me just a little bit. Uh, from my analytics, uh, almost 70% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. So if you are watching right now and haven't subscribed, uh, the button's right down below. It's real easy to do. It's free uh, and it helps the channel. It helps me push my content out to more people. And, and that's what I want. I want to reach more people. Um, that's my intention here. It always has been is to grow the sport and to help people uh, love the sport more and get better at it. That's my intention. So that's what I want to do and you can help me. So uh, I appreciate your help those that have subscribed and I appreciate you considering subscribing right now. All right, let's get on with our content. So you all know I've been working on improving my forehand over the past couple months. I've had a couple of lessons with Josh on it. This last lesson, I told him that there, there's just a lot of wobble from my forehand coming out. Uh, and there's two things I think uh, that we can attribute to wobble coming out of a forehand and a backhand, I guess, uh, is spin. And everybody knows that the, the, the more you spin, the less wobble you're going to generate. The other thing is disc angle in relation to launch angle. Um, so if I'm coming straight through with my forehand and my launch angle is straight, you know, a flat plane, but my disc, my, my disc nose is up, my disc angle is up. When I release, the wind resistance is not going to be able to travel cleanly over the disc, right? Like this. It's going to hit this front and that's going to create wobble. So the second thing that we have to worry about is disc angle in relation to launch angle. This is a problem for me because if you have been following my channel, you knew that I was a baseball thrower, right? So I threw from high to low, right? So I have a pronation and everybody knows pronate, supinate with your hand, pronate, supinate. So I had a pronate, supinate motion with my disc. Well, Josh dropped my backswing from up here to down here. The problem is, is my brain supinates my hand because of this motion. My brain supinates my hand at the end of my forehand throw. So even though I dropped my disc down here, when I get to the end, my brain automatically wants to supinate to compensate for my higher angle. So I still have that pronation supination uh, issue in my forehand. So when I get to the end, I, I want to supinate, which gets my nose angle up, gets my launch angle and my nose angle uh, off, right, out of sync, and therefore generates wobble. So no matter how hard I try to spin the disc, my my disc angle was contributing a lot to my wobble. So that's where the softball comes in. So you all know that I am a softball coach. I've said that a million times on my channel. Uh, so one thing that Josh told me to do was throw a ball from your forearm angle. Uh, and as I coach softballers, the last thing to leave a softball when you throw is your fingertips. Okay, uh, your your finger, a little soft, a little softball, baseball lesson for you guys. When you throw, your fingers need to stay behind the ball. 
The perfect rotation when you're throwing a ball is straight backwards, 12 to six back rotation, which gives a ball the longevity in the air, right? Those guys that can throw a really long way, put a lot of backspin on the ball that creates lift with the ball and keeps the ball in the air longer. So fingers directly behind the ball, pushing through the ball. The last thing to leave the ball is the fingertips and the ball spins straight backwards when you throw. All you need to do is take the throw from here to here and do the exact same thing. That's a forehand for a disc. So I see a lot of guys saying, well, yeah, I threw a baseball, but it's different because your arm slot's way up here. Well, all we're doing is taking our arm slot from here to here, and it's the exact same motion. It's le at least with the wrist and the fingers and the hand, it's the exact same mechanics. Now you just have to learn to be become a sidearm thrower. So let me adjust the camera and show you what I mean. So for my baseball throw, I'm up here and I have my, disc, my, my net right in front of me, right? And I throw just like that, right? What I want to do now is bring the ball down here and throw it just like I'm throwing it up top. And what this forces me to do, if it's going to be a clean throw, now I felt that one on the top side of my finger. If it's going to be a clean throw, I have to keep my fingers behind the ball the whole time. Because if I get here and I supinate, the ball is going to slip out of my hand. I'm going to have no, no pressure behind the ball. I have to keep my hand directly behind the ball the whole time and snap through if I want to generate force and get that ball moving. So I have a full bucket of balls. And don't be jealous, not everybody can rock the rainbow and unicorn bucket like I can. But, you know, it's my, uh, it's my gift to the world. Anyway, uh, so I go through a bucket of balls. And I'll throw 10 throws into the net. And just get that feeling of keeping my fingers behind the ball the whole time. Right? Starting in my arm slot back here. Keeping behind the ball the whole time. And snapping through it at the end with my fingers. And then... As soon as I'm done that, I have a stack of discs and I do the exact same thing and feel the exact same motion. And I'm telling you, this has made my disc come out so much cleaner. Now, I know you've seen Josh's video on Wobble, the one he did with Jesse from uh, Trash Panda. Um, and you're not gonna ever eliminate Wobble. Unless you're a robot, there's no way you can align your launch angle and your release, your disc angle perfectly. There's always gonna be an element of wobble. But to eliminate, to re not to eliminate, to reduce wobble, spin and aligning your disc angle with your launch angle is where it's at. So this is one of the drills that I do to make myself uh, not supinate at the end, but come straight through the disc so that my disc angle matches my launch angle. Well, there you have it. I hope this was informative and, uh, and helpful to you uh, as you uh, improve your game and, and, and working on your forehand. Uh, I'm doing a couple of other things that, that, that I'm going to be releasing later to help with my uh, supination in the back because I still have a tendency to, to pop it up in the back and not keep it level. But uh, look for uh, a couple more of these coming out in the future. Uh, tell me what you want to see. Drop it in the comments below. If you like this content, if you want me to keep doing this, what else you want to see me do. Uh, this channel is, is to help you all out and to help us all grow in the game. Uh, so thanks for coming along. Until next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.